You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The spokesman for the Ministry of Public Works, Kung Vimian, has told EAC News that the temporary use of the new expressway between Phnom Penh and Sienegville has not yet been granted, due to a need for more time to set up a security system on this road. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has more details. Before the ministry had planned to allow the use of the expressway starting from July, spokesman Kong Vin Men said that the Phnom Penh Sihanoukville expressway has reached 94% completion so far. However, there are still some problems that prevent its use, such as traffic signs are not on the road yet. Being fully equipped, he explained that about 70% of the road safety fences have been set up with some flyovers have not been completed. The four parking locations for the expressway are also not 100% complete and some traffic safety safety system equipment still needs to be installed. The spokesman added the remaining work will be completed by the end of August and the temporary use of the expressway will open early September 2022. The new expressway is being constructed by the PPCHV Expressway Comp Limited and subscribably of the China Road Bridge Corporation and is technically expected by the mine consultant SDN BHD. The expressway took 48 months to construct to cost over $2 billion. It has four lanes, a total of 24.5 metres, seven intersections, three rest areas, one parking lot, an operation and maintenance centre, four large bridges, 40 medium bridges, five small bridges that cross over about eight kilometres of Phnom Penh and over four other provinces, including 9.1 kilometres of Kandao, 80.8 kilometres of Kampong Spu, 1.92 kilometres of Kol Kong, and 89.89 kilometres of Pri Sehadnuk. The Phnom Penh Sehat Neville Express Project is first expressway project and the most important strategic corridor in Cambodia. In addition to reducing the travel time from Phnom Penh to Sehat Neville, port from five hours just to two hours. The expressway will also help reduce logistic costs. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.